Hmm. The humble Nord. Once a highly regarded member of society, now down on his luck and in desperate need of money. What options does a man like this have when his back is against the wall? It's time for Joe Joman to break bad. Through a series of unfortunate events, our hero, Joe Joman, has found himself in need of 25,000 gold to buy Proudspire Manor and become a Thane of Solitude. Inspired by his recent experience with Skooma, he came up with a genius business proposition. But first, he needed a lab. So, Joe prepared to meet an old contact. Oh my god. This dude is dripped out. What? Adventurer. Oh, this guy looks way cooler than I do. That's not fair. I'm sorry, sir. Let me get out of your way. I protect the yard. She mentioned to me that there's land available. Yes, How interesting. Yes, it's a fine property. Well property. Plentiful stands of property. Beautiful property. You're saying it's in a secluded region of the forest where nobody will interrupt our business? I'll take it. You won't regret it. After investing our life savings into an RV, we headed out to survey our new purchase. Are we going to make money in the woods? Um, alchemy, basically. But I haven't fully described the process yet. Oh! Oh my god, the trap almost worked! I forgot about that. I believe this is our, our land that we bought. Ah, yes, lovely. There's a dragon. After some assembly, our RV was ready for use. It included a small garden where we would be growing alchemy ingredients for our operation. However, this lab was much too small for our ambitions. So, the next step was to make it much bigger. Real quick, here's your weekly reminder to subscribe if you haven't already, and follow my Twitch where we film these live. Thanks. Now back to... So, we headed back to civilization to find someone who could supply us with a larger lab. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax. Oh, <laughs> something to help me relax? Oh, okay. What kind of stuff? Oh. Skooma, huh? Hey, you know what? 18 gold? I can't pass up a deal like that. Until next time. I'll <laughs> see you later, friend. But keep that in the old back pocket. You never know when it'll be useful. Yeah, I have no idea why the skooma is so cheap, but it's probably laced with fentanyl. <laughs> uh, where is the blacksmith? Oh, wait, it is this house. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. <laughs> no, I did not see a dog, sir. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. I I don't care, sir. I'm here for I'm here for your blacksmith business, not dogs. But no, I don't. Why are my only options to say yes to go catching it? Fine, maybe I could be convinced to do it. It's a smart man to demand something up front for his work. <laughs> some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Oh. Well, thanks for the free gold, pal. I'm not gonna find that dog for you. The locals of Falkreath were all clueless small-timers, so we headed to the big city in search of someone capable of supplying our operation. On our way past the lab, an ally appeared that was willing to assist us in our operation. What? Who are you? Wait, isn't this my- Honored to see you again, my thing. Oh yeah, that's my house Carl from Falkreath. Uh, hey, do you want to live here? I'd be honored to be your steward. You've built a fine studying here. Your follower leaves your service. What do you mean? Until next time. Bane doll, get back here. I'm not done with you. Divine smile on you, friend. Bane doll's trying to work his way out of our operation. Bane doll, come on now. I know you want to cook. I really love the dragon ambient noises by the house. This seems very safe. You can buy logs from her. Oh yeah, that's true, but doesn't it take time to deliver them? How many logs do we have left? Two. It 
It doesn't take time to deliver? Oh, oh, on God? Wow, perfect timing, Rhea. I, I need you to buy some materials. What are we running short of? Lumber. I'll see to it at once. Said, so, what, we got the drone delivery? Oh, wow. Sweet. With the help of Rhea Ehrmantraut, we were able to begin our expansion of the lab. Unfortunately, we still ran out of materials and needed a supplier to finish the job. So, we continued our travel to find one. Ember shard mine. That does not sound like it has iron in it, to be honest. It does have iron. Oh, shit. Filthy mutts. Oh my god, they're killing me. Oh my god, I almost got- Oh! No! Oh, what? Dude. Wolves? Oh my- How are we still dying to wolves? <laughs> After respawn or er, backtracking, we decided to source some supplies from Ember Shard Mine. Oh. Um. Good evening, sir. Would you mind if I partake in a little mining? Here. I mean, I mean no harm. I just need to borrow some of your rock. Okay. Should have just let me pass. Alright guys, there's an extremely obvious tripwire, so please don't step on it. Oh, this place is infested. At least it's normal bandits. This is actually a very nice change of pace. Joe's been in some really difficult battles lately. These guys are, like, easy baby mode. Are we breaking into a random mine and killing innocent people? They're not innocent. They attacked me first. I asked them politely if I could borrow their iron, and he stuck an axe in my head, so... Oh. Hello. Hello, shirtless man. Oh my god, he runs fast. <laughs> They're sprinting. Faintal, look out. They're fast. Oh, I'm sorry, Miko. Hello? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Don't really knows his way around a pickaxe. Ooh. Dwarven boots of muffling? Wait, this is sick for our heavy armor sneak build. Feindal, I'm, I need you to hold on to some loot. Honestly, just take the ebony shield too. It really wasn't working. You can have it. I feel like he'll, Feindal will use it better anyways. The golden sneaky shoes, though, these are these are clean. Let me get a good look at these. <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing clown shoes or something. Joe, I don't know where you got your sense of style from, but it's immaculate. They're fake, you can tell by the stitching. These are clearly authentic. Look at these. He was selling them for like 80 bucks. That was a steal. These are legit for sure. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm, it, I know you're jealous of my sweet kicks. Slave trader bandits? These are slavers? Okay, see, whoever was complaining about me killing innocent people, these people are apparently slave traders. How do we feel about them now, huh? No evidence yet? Come on, look at his name. Slave trader bandit. If that's not evidence, then I don't know what is. Oh yeah, there was a note, too. Slave trader report. It has a picture. Who, who has a Polaroid camera in here? We need to free the wenches, meet the wenches. Guys, we're here for iron. We're, we're trying to break bad. I don't, we don't even know if the wenches are real. I mean, they did have an HD picture of them, but we don't know for sure. That could have been anybody. You know, if we happen to see uh, see some wenches, maybe we'll, maybe we'll help them out. <laughs> I don't know why they refer to them as wenches, but... Well, I think we got a good bit of iron out of that. See, they weren't even in there. How am I supposed to know <laughs> where... I, they could be anywhere in Skyrim. They weren't in the mine. After successfully raiding Ember Shard Mine, we got back on track towards locating a supplier in Albuquerque. Get nice and squeaky clean, Joe. We don't want to get tracked by the feds by our scent. Got some good pieces out here. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith. Why are we praying to Talos as an Imperial? It's complicated, okay? We're, we're, we're just questioning our religion right now. We accidentally started praying to Talos. We're kind of agnostic at the moment after Kinnereth abandoned us. After establishing good business relations with Gus Avenici, we returned to the base of operations to continue construction. 
Uh, this place is honestly not very hidden at all. We're making this building huge. Are we going to move our family into the Skuma Lab? Absolutely not. I don't want my family to know that this place exists. This is for secret business purposes. We need a name for our business. Bane Doll Miko, do you have any suggestions? Joe's Grow and Ho? Joman Corp? Business Businessman Incorporated? That's pretty good. Not Secret Skuma Activities Corp. Joe's Super Legal Business. East Imperial Trading Company. <laughs> Wait, that's actually, that, I like that. With the construction of the East Imperial Trading Company lab finalized, it was time to acquire the product to get it up and running. To properly run the lab, we will be filling every garden and greenhouse slot with Mora Tapinella, Scaly Foliota, and Creep Clusters, such that we receive about 39 of each per harvest. With one of each ingredient used to make a potion, this will net us 39 potions per harvest, which is every three in-game days. We already gathered Mora Tapinella and planted it during construction, so our next target was Creep Clusters, which could be found in the Commonwealth Waste south of Windhelm. Kinnereth's Manor? I'm gonna be honest, Joe and Kinnereth are on a bit of a break lately. I don't know if I wanna... Oh Jesus. I don't know if I wanna bring her into my business operations. Oh Lord! No! No! What the f- Why? Oh, here's one. Perfect. One down, seven to go. Oh, wait, oh my god, there's a ton of them. Three, four, five, six. Oh, here's the last two we need. That was actually extremely easy. After a surprisingly peaceful trip through the waste, we took a trip to the dreaded Riften Forest where scaly foliota grow on the birch trees. Joe posted anti-empire propaganda in 2013. That's not true. That is false. Yeah, whatever you do, do not use the Freedom of Information Act to find out what Joe did in 1984. Joe did nothing wrong in 1984, and it's best left untouched. At this point, it seemed that the government had begun looking into this mysterious Heisen Joe character. Word of his operation was spreading, and wild rumors began circulating throughout all of Skyrim, including Twitch chat. Guys, you're, you're looking way too deep in the history of Joe. It's best, it's best left in the past, okay? You don't need to know where he was in September of 2001. You don't need to know what he was doing in 1984. He was doing nothing, okay? He was chopping lumber like a good Nord in Whiterun. What was Joe doing in central Syria in 1997? Again, absolutely nothing. Do not worry about it. Joe Joman's real name is not Joe Rothschild, just for the record. No connection to the Rothschild family whatsoever. Although most of the theories were wildly inaccurate, Joe did not fight in the Chimpanzee War of Gombe either. It meant that Heisen Joe was gaining notoriety, which was good because that meant he was sure to have customers when his product was ready. And you definitely don't need to know why he was in prison at the beginning of episode one. More than anything, you don't need to know that. <laughs> I've seen photographs where Joe and Ulfric are hanging out like friends from the summer of 2000. That's fake. Those are fake. Those are deep fakes. <laughs> what was Joe doing September 8th, 2022? <laughs> he took out the competition. Joe Joman won, Queen of England zero. Guys, Joe Joman had nothing to do with the Queen of England, okay? How many kids does Joe in total have and with how many different women? He has one child, named Lucia, whom he adopted, and no other out-of-wedlock affairs. Absolutely none. There was no hush money paid in 2004. Despite the smear campaign being ran against Joe by the CIA, we were able to acquire all of the necessary materials to begin our production. After planting all of our ingredients, we had some time to kill before we could cook. So, we purchased a new ride. Oh! Joe Joman's horse. And decided to pay our neighbors a visit. When you're moving into a new place, it's important to get to know the people you're going to be around. You want to establish good relations. Hello? Hello? Yeah, okay, they're not answering. They, they might be they might be in trouble. We have to check on them. Oh, 
You see those subtitles? There's a potential customer in here. Hello, good sir. Wait, he doesn't know. Okay, let's surprise him with, with some music. Greetings, sir. I would like to offer you a fantastic business proposition. I heard you're in the market for skooma. Let me tell you, the East Imperial Trading Company has just moved in next door, and we offer the best prices on all your pharmaceutical needs. I can start you at three potions for a hundred gold each. How does that sound? Where are you? Uh, I'm right next to you, sir. Where are you? <laughs> Is that a yes or a no? This is a one-time deal, so act now. Okay, I don't think he's interested. <laughs> Shit. Turns out, our neighbors were a rival cartel, so we had to take them out to thin the competition. You know, not every deal is sealable. You can't win them all. Oh, these guys are extremely weak. I don't feel like they're gonna be open to a business merger. You guys' basement is a mess. You do not run a clean operation. It's, everything's gonna get contaminated, all the product. They not even have an air quality tester down here? After clearing out the competition, we sampled some of their product and were met with a strange fate. The drink overwhelms you. Oh! Sanguine Sphere includes debauchery and passionate revelry. He's the patron of brothels. <laughs> We've been offered to follow Sanguine again. You know what? This seems very fitting. When we're in the midst of um, a pharmaceutical deal, we're drinking in this rival drug den, might as well. After wasting enough time drinking, it was finally time for the best part of the operation. Jesse! We heading out? We need to cook! Finally, we had something we could sell to the masses. A potion of fortified carry weight with five total effects evaluated around 300 gold. We produced four different purities as our skills increased, creating 32 total potions on our first run. Now, we just needed a distributor to sell them. Oh my god! <laughs> the FBI is raiding us. <laughs> they already found out. <laughs> Put him down. You'll never know what happened that day. Oh my god. Oh. Bane doll, distract him. With your body. Oh. Okay. Not today, IRS. <laughs> I'll never pay my imperial taxes. You're gonna have to send more agents than that if you want to catch Joe Joman. Back in Albuquerque, we quickly found the perfect contact to sell our new product to. Ooh. Hello, sir. Yes? <laughs> Would you like to buy some of my, uh, concoctions? Take a look. Here's my products. 92 gold. 93 gold. Oh, yes, please. Hold on, sir. You seem to have quite deep pockets. Let me grab my top shelf bottles here. Here's the good stuff. Oh, yeah. 1,300 gold for these ones. 900 more gold for that. Wow. And he has five gold left. Just like that, we're back up to three grand. The feds were on Joe's trail, but the East Imperial Trading Company was in full swing now. Our profits would only increase beyond three grand every day as Joe's alchemy and speech skills increased. As it stood, we were about to make a lot of money.